Yo, 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 guys, it is Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devils 2. Now, I don't usually do these, but um, Fabrizio Mano did tweet um, just a few hours back. Um, and, um, well, we've known that Van der Beek isn't happy. We've known that Van der Beek isn't happy. And before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, smash the notification button for latest night news and more. Um, hope we'll have a bit more time to be able to do a bit more other stuff, but... Guys, yeah, I mean, um, it was coming. It was coming. And um, Hibritsu has tweeted, you know, I'm obviously a trust with Shimano. I don't really cover much transfer news unless it's from him, to be honest, um, because he is the de facto source now. And he says that there's nothing going on between Ajax and Manchester United for Donny van der Beek. Rumours about potential comeback in January are considered fake by all parties involved as things stand now. And that's the key as things stand now. But it but underneath, and this is where the key is, by the way, there are huge chances of Zonham to leave Manchester United in January. And that's the key thing here, really. Um, I think obviously if we leave, if he leaves, we have to they have to pay a transfer fee. And we bought Donny Van der Beek for I think 35, 40 million. So I would expect, especially because he's still young, that United will want to recuperate that amount of money. So at the very minimum, if he's going to leave in January, he's going to leave for at least forty million. Um, I don't think any more because he's not really played, um, unless they're desperate. So maybe like a Newcastle, for example, to sign a good little player. I definitely think he plays for Newcastle. He's going to get big games. Um, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer obviously um, gave Van der Beek assurances that he would play more often. Um, I suspect that was more so in the cup games, like like the FA Cup and Carbo, but they obviously got knocked out of it because he did play um, in the Carbo Cup, get the defeat against West Ham, and then he played. Um, well, literally, his only appearances have been he played the full game, I think, Carbo Cup in the defeat against West Ham. He played the first half against Young Boys before he came off, um, and then possibly he made another cameo at some point in the Premier League. That's about it. Maybe as a come as a last sub, and he came off about five minutes, you know. So he's clearly not got the game time he wanted. And obviously, with Russia coming back, it's almost a nail in the coffin, to be honest. Because when you're benching Pogba, you know, and Matic for Freddie McTominay, Van der Beek just isn't going to feature, you know, at all. Um, so I don't even talk about it anymore because it's just it's it's just over. There's 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 it, it's, his future is over, and I think unless Oli Gunnar Solskjaer gets sacked in the next few weeks, I don't think you'll be seeing Van der Beek in a Manchester United shirt much anytime anytime soon. Um, so huge chances. I'm sure there are a lot of teams, pop likes of Barcelona, Newcastle, maybe Juve, and a few others that'll be well keen to sign him as a as a as a midfielder. Um, and it's just a shame. The only thing I would say is that if, they, if you're going to make maybe turn this into a positive, is that if United are still in the Champions League and are still potentially chasing for a title, although most likely we won't, we could maybe use that money from Van der Beek, that 40, 50 million to invest in a defensive midfielder in January. That's the only positive I can think of. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Obviously, this is bound to happen. And I would very be very, very surprised if Van der Beek stays in January because him and Oli, he's clearly not happy with the situation. I'm not particularly happy with the situation because I think Oli has really mishandled Van der Beek. And you've got to ask yourself, why did he, he, he was signed in the first place? So something is, there's something wrong with that. But yeah, it is what it is, unfortunately. Remember, guys, if you channel to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, on X, smash the notification button, latest United News. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.